Now we are going to find an initial approximate value by using the algebraic methods. Example 4. Show that the equation x squared minus 1 over x plus 4 is equal to 0 has a root between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. So, we rewrite x squared minus 1 over x plus 4 is equal to 0 as a fx is equal to x squared minus 1 over x plus 4. So when x is equal to 0 0.2, we substitute x is equal to 0 0.2 into the fx. So we have 0 0.2 squared minus 1 over 0 0.2 plus 4. And the answer is equal to negative 0 0.96, which is less than 0. So we have negative sign. When x is equal to 0 0.3, we substitute x is equal to 0 0.3 into the fx and we have 0 0.3 squared minus 1 over 0 0.3 plus 4 is equal to 0 0.757 which is, is greater than 0. So we have positive sign. Since f 0 0.2 is less than 0 and f 0 0.3 is greater than 0, thus at least one root must lie between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. Example 5. Find the initial approximate value for the equation x cubed minus 6x is equal to negative 7. First, we rewrite x cubed minus 6x plus 7 is equal to 0. So, we have fx is equal to x cubed minus 6x plus 7. When we substitute x is equal to negative 3 into the fx, so we have negative 3 cubed minus 6 times negative 3 plus 7 is equal to negative 2 which is less than 0. When we substitute x is equal to negative 2 into the fx, so we have negative 2 cubed minus 6 times negative 2 plus 7 is equal to 11 which is greater than 0. So we have different signs. One is less than 0 and the other one is greater than 0. Since f negative 3 is less than 0 and f negative 2 is greater than 0, Thus, the equation has a root between negative 3 and negative 2. Example 6. Show algebraically that the root of the equation 2 to the power of x is equal to x cubed lies in the interval 1.3 and 1.4. First, we can write 2 to the power of x is equal to x cubed as a 2 to the power of x minus x cubed is equal to 0. So we have fx is equal to 2 to the power of x minus x cubed. When we substitute x is equal to 1.3 into the fx, so we have 2 to the power of 1.3 minus 1.3 cube and the answer is equal to 0 0.27 which is greater than 0. So this is the positive sign. When we substitute x is equal to 1.4 into the fx, so we have 2 to the power of 1.4 
minus 1.4 cube and the answer is equal to negative 0 0.1 which is less than 0. So this is the negative sign. So now we have different sign. One is the positive sign and the other one is negative sign. Since f1.3 is greater than 0 and f1.4 is less than 0, thus the equation has a root between 1.3 and 1.4. As a conclusion for the algebraic method, if fa and fb have different signs, so at least one root must lie between a and b if fx is continuous. For the exercise, show algebraically that the root of the equation e to the power of negative x is equal to x plus 0 0.5 lies in the interval 0, 1.